Okay, hey you guys. So I'm filming this on my iPhone, so bear with me. I hope the quality is good. But I received my Giantex portable washing machine. You can see the box over there. This is just laying on its side right now. And the reason why I have it laying on its side is because there is a piece that you need to install here, which is what I'm about to do. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is install this plastic thing. Now keep in mind, where'd that thing go? Where did it just go? What the heck? Oh, this. Okay, so keep in mind that this is going to be in your box. And I didn't know what the heck this was. Like, I couldn't figure it out. And there's like this little spot here. So I thought that maybe it like went there or it went like there. But I don't think this is used for anything. Um, I was actually reading a like review installation review on Amazon and somebody was saying that this piece is meant to be discarded so <laughs> oops okay so we're gonna just go ahead and put that over there for now we're gonna discard that and then with this piece this has to be screwed on now I will say that this is something that I read on the directions is not on the directions i'm sorry this is something that i read on the reviews on amazon is that the directions for this machine are like trash um and they're they are like they're really bad i don't really know who wrote it it's obviously someone where you know english is not their first language because some parts just don't make sense so this says as the right photo put down this is the right photo by the way um put down the machine on some on some soft thing so <laughs> i put down my rug um hopefully that's like a soft thing and then it says please let the remarkable face outside the remarkable face okay i think this is the remarkable face that's what i'm going to just go with um the arrow direction is machine front side the arrow direction is machine front side okay so I'm assuming that these arrows that are here need to be when installed facing towards the front side that's what I'm gonna say okay so we have our piece here and we're gonna take these instructions off of it so I'm a screwdriver and I'm going to put this so okay let me zoom in so we're gonna put it into this little hole right let me see if you can see it this hole right here i'm gonna put my first screw and then i'm gonna put my other screw right there and then there's another hole like these little tiny ones that's where i'm putting the screw in i'm assuming that's where it goes gonna lightly screw it in just to kind of hold it for right now and then I'll tighten everything up. I'm just going to tighten up all the screws here. So, I also bought this dolly, and I got the dolly on Amazon. And this is just so that if I want to move my machine around, it's not super difficult to do so. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is definitely something that I recommend you do. With somebody else <laughs> but I'm an eager beaver I decided to do it myself so I have it on the dolly 
looks great it's sturdy i'm not planning on moving it but it's nice to just have it on this dolly in case i do need to move it it's not going to be a hassle um so next thing i'm going to do so okay i want you guys to look at my setup give me a okay so sorry if the lighting has changed um it's a little bit later in the day but i want to show you guys how my counter is set up and you guys can kind of see the length as far as how far that water hose would need to go and then how far that drain hose would need to go um and the ones that come with the package are just not going to be long enough to fit over this countertop um they could probably fit over something like this but with there being such a wide gap in between the washing machine and the sink, I did have to go get some extension, um, extension water hoses and extension drain hoses. So I'm gonna show you guys how I connect the extension hose that I got. And this is the brand, it's the eight feet. I probably didn't need one that was eight feet long, but they didn't have anything that was shorter. So I just decided to go with this. Um, and that way, if I ever do need more length, then at least I do have this. So it also came with this clasp, um, and that's so that you can make sure that the hose is securely connected to the original hose. Okay, so this was difficult, you guys. Like, this, <laughs> this was not easy. It might be easy for some. It was not easy for me. Um... Yeah, maybe I'll throw in a couple of bloopers of me just struggling, but in the end, I want you guys to just see where I have it. So at first I had it like over here and yeah, it just slipped right out. And then I tried to have it right in the middle and it didn't really work. So I put it more towards this end of it, um, right where this part is starting to enter into this tube. I hope that that's... Okay, now that it's secure, you can kind of see how long of a hose I have now. So... Yeah, this is perfect because now this can drain into my sink. And I'm going to tuck it behind all this. Don't worry. I'm actually considering putting a hook up here and maybe even having a hook. But I think I'd rather just try to like hide it behind like my toaster and behind this plant. Thank goodness it's gray, so it kind of matches my countertops a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just kind of have it in here so I did take the plastic off of this because I wasn't able to get this um, power cord off of the machine without taking that plastic off so I did take that off I am going to take this off at the end but I now want to um, I want to connect my hose sorry I don't know why I can't talk I think it's just getting later and I had all this energy before but now oh, I don't so, okay, this is the hose right here, and I will show you the packaging that the hose came in, as well as the little bushing thing I got. Um, okay, so this hose, this is the packaging. This is the same brand that made the drain hose. It's also eight feet, okay? And this little part right here, this is the part that's going to connect to your... Okay, we are there a little bit better. Um, so yeah, he just attached it for me and basically just told me to just attach this to the sink and attach, you know, this to the machine and it should function. So I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm first going to take off these ties right here.
Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a month update on how the Giant Tech, Giant Tech, however you pronounce it, Giant Tech, uh, portable washing machine. I have the. I actually am doing a load right now. I have my towels in. It's been doing really good. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, so I, this has been holding up. This is the same. Um, I guess this is the same. <laughs> contraption that I made in that first video so this is the same thing this tape has been holding on strong everything's working don't look at my nails look a hot mess um, I am still using that sink adapter so I do still have that here as you can see and then the drain hose is still draining out really well um, oh, sorry kitty <laughs> gosh you guys have cats and like sometimes they're just right behind you um, but yeah so